This is the most beautiful thing I think I've ever seen. Good morning. Good morning from Posada Aconchego, which means a warm embrace. That's what we've heard anyway. We are going to get some breakfast. Free breakfast would be Posada. <laughs> That's what we love about Brazil. This is the best one. Sorry, I didn't really show the breakfast, but we are in a hurry. We're going to try to get out of here ASAP so that we can get to some of these places before other people do. which is basically a natural spring of water. So this was the first fervadoro that was open to the public. So we're at a good one. And you only get 15 minutes. So we're running to get there before other people because they also only let like one person in at a time to get their photos and do whatever they want to do. So we need to get there fast. We're, we're kind of running. pretty early, but... We were competing with another car on the road to get here. They passed us, then we were trying to keep up with them. We hopped out of our car right away, so we're ready. So it looks like you enter in groups of six or seven people. So we have to wait because people are already in there. We're waiting our turn. You get 15 minutes once you enter the Fervador. And it costs $4 each to get in. So it's pretty good because it won't be completely crowded when you go in there, but you do have to wait in a line. There aren't very many people in here, but I can imagine during regular times and not early in the morning, there are probably a bunch of people back here just waiting for a while. I can't wait to get in. It looks awesome from here. You can't see much, but it's going to be great. <laughs> See, this is where the water comes up from the ground. Let's see what happens when we walk on top of the sand where the water's coming up. We we're told that you can put a stick down there 30 meters down right here where it looks like the water's coming up and you still don't touch ground. So it's kind of like it's coming from an underwater river. So it would seem like you could just fall right through. <laughs> Holy. It's still like this over here. It looks like sand, but there's nothing. It seems like it's gonna swallow you up. Oh. Okay, wait, let's get Lindsay's reaction. That's crazy. Yeah, crazy. My turn. <laughs> Walk into the quicksand. <laughs> One more. Oh, wow. It's what? just like an endless pool. So it looks like it would be like that here, but over here it just looks like sand. Like you can walk, but you actually... That's crazy. <laughs> wow. Here we can drink your water. Look, you can drink the water in here. Mmm. Ah, it tastes so good. 
that's some of the best water. Mm. You can see the edge under here, the edge of where the where the earth comes to, and it's just these roots. They plant banana trees all around here. Banana trees have roots that keep the soil to the side so that this is completely open. And you can see that because this is so clear. <laughs> it pushes you right back up. One of the coolest places ever. We spent too much time enjoying it, we didn't really talk to you. But we have more Thurvadoros to see. So we just, we're leaving now. Fervadoro Cesa. That is the name of that one if you want to see that specific one, but we have four or five more to see. We're going to our next Fervadora. It's tucked away back here apparently behind this house. No one else is here. So we take this trail to get there. We see no other cars here, so hopefully we're the only people. What's, what's really cool about this, this area is all these fervadoras are very close together, so you usually only have to drive 10, 15, 20 minutes to get to the next one. So you can just spend all day going to all these fervadoros. And that's what we plan to do. Another thing we like is it feels extremely safe in this area. We can just leave our phones sitting out, purse, uh, there's guides everywhere, so everyone's watching your stuff. Yeah. So we just came to a river, and we think we actually have to cross this river to get to the Fervidoro. Uh, it has this rope that you can climb with. This is the first, crossing a river with a rope. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Real adventure, huh? We made it. Yeah. Five minutes later. Good job. Okay, we are entering our second Fervedoro. This one is Encontro dos Aguas. So remember the names of all of these ones so when you come here you can pick and choose the ones that you like best. They will each be different. Some will be bluer, some will be bigger, smaller, more natural looking. So remember these names. Wow. So this one is a bit smaller than the other one. It still has the sand in the middle coming up. You can see it. Look, you can see the leaves getting pushed around, almost look like they get sucked into it. Looks like a big magnifying glass. How's the flavor? How's the, the weather? How does it feel? The water feels good. Let's check this out.
This is not your average sand. It is the most fine sand I've ever seen. That's probably why the water can come up through it so easily. Wow. It's shiny, like it's like pieces of crystals, it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna see how deep this hole will take me. Oh, <laughs> it pushes you back up. You can't go down it. Oh. <laughs> right back up. You can't go down it. Wow. It pushes you up so much. Look how much of my body is above the water without trying. Are you even touching the ground right now? No. <laughs> He's floating. I'm just floating like this. This is cool. Oh, that is an odd sensation. We don't need the swing. So what's so cool about this is most of it, all of the center is where you you don't sink, but there's no floor. There's no sand floor. It looks like it though. When you're not swirling it around, it's just a floor of sand. But you don't have anything there, you just go straight through it. And you don't know when it's gonna lead to an actual floor. It's not until here that you can actually get out onto some sand, but it looks the same all across it. A little confusing. <laughs> Basically, there's a big hole in the middle with no floor. This all looks the same on the bottom. It looks two feet deep, but actually... <laughs> He's just full. So right now Alex is not touching the bottom with his feet. He's actually floating. The water coming up from the middle is pushing him up. It's a constant circulation of water and sand. But what's interesting is it keeps the sand at the same level as the whole bottom. So somehow water's coming up, but the sand is just like this, just at the bottom. I don't know it how that works. It filters it. That did not work. <laughs> Trying to push him down. <laughs> nope. Not There's at all. No way. <laughs> I can't even get underwater if I try. <laughs> down. Alright, I'm gonna jump into it and see if maybe I can go under a little bit. Nope. <laughs> Did you see how far I shot up? You came right back up. It's like a pogo stick. You can just hop up and down. Guys, I've said before that these places are absolutely amazing and some of the best places we've seen. But really, these fervadoros are... There must be a monkey in there. These fervadoros are some of the greatest things that we've ever seen, <laughs> experienced in our lives. Both. Lindsay and I, wherever we are in the world, these are so cool. Hands down, the most beautiful place I've ever seen. And it's natural. It's natural and there are no people. You cannot beat this in my opinion. We've seen a lot of beautiful places, but there's just something about this. This is a phenomenon I've never seen before. Alex can't stop being impressed by the water pushing him up. So I'm not sure if we explained earlier, but Fervadoros are basically springs, water springs. It's not like a hot spring because it's not hot, but the water is just coming up. It's natural water, a natural pool where the water is coming from a river down below ground. It's just constantly coming up and it's constantly purifying and cleaning the water. So this is some of the cleanest water that you can get. You're in the middle of the forest, and there is basically nothing around you. Just this pool, trees, animals. It's lovely. Look, we're surrounded by banana trees. And we didn't know banana trees, I guess, come with this big flower-looking thing here. This is really...
is the River Sono. And it was on the TV show Survivor. <laughs> so we are crossing the same river that people on Survivor crossed. They shot a season of Survivor in the Jalapal area. You got it? So as you guys know, we put out videos on YouTube, we put out as much content as we can, but we can't put out everything on YouTube. We also have shorter video clips and photos that we can't put here. So if you want to see more, follow us on Instagram, Lindsay Travelbum and Alexander Travelbum. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, click one of these. And subscribe right here because we're traveling all around the world and we're sharing the whole thing with you.